Hi guys, leave a like on this video as we proceed to start the new episode of the latest Super Football News. Let's get started. Chelsea's ever-growing injury list has now reached double figures, with Enzo Fernandez among the latest to be ruled out of training. Carragher has told Erling Haaland that he is an ultimate luxury footballer and advised him to make a significant change to win the Ballon d'Or. Hyung Min Sun admits that Tottenham's 100 million euros sale of Harry Kane left him really sad as their special connection was broken. Premier League rulemakers have been blasted over ludicrous and unfair FFP plans, with the likes of Manchester City and Chelsea standing to benefit. Ex-Chelsea and Everton star Pat Nevin said, Everton have had another two points taken off them. It is painful, losing 10, getting four back and then losing another two. This entire story has felt like a shambles on all sides. Arsenal starlet Charlie Patino will reportedly leave the Emirates permanently this summer with several clubs circling. Former Tottenham star Deli Alley and influencer Cindy Kimberley have taken their relationship to another level by getting matching red ring tattoos. Real Madrid star Rodrigo has explained why he broke out two Cristiano Ronaldo goal celebrations when netting against Manchester City. I always watch his videos, I watch him before the match too to inspire me. As I always say, he is my role model, he is my hero. Real Madrid have been warned that signing Erling Haaland will be more complicated, with a deal for Kylian Mbappe considered to be 99.99% done. Diego Maradona was a dancer while Lionel Messi is a machine, with ex-Argentina international Diego Valeri saying the two should not be compared. Fullback Dani Alves has reportedly returned the €150,000 legal defense aid he had received from Neymar Jr.'s father. Harry Kane's children rushed to hospital after being injured in serious car crash while Bayern star was on way to Arsenal for Champions League tie. Manchester United face a defensive injury crisis as both Johnny Evans and Rafael Varane have been ruled out of this weekend's clash with Bournemouth. Manchester United striker Rasmus Hodgson jumped on the occasion to rub salt on Liverpool's wounds after the shock Europa League defeat to Atlanta. After the match, the Danish striker took to social media to post a picture of Atlanta players celebrating at Anfield. Accompanied by the words, Mola Mia, a Bergamo saying that translates to, never give up. Christophe Dugary claims Kylian Mbappe spat in the face of the Champions League with his dismal performance against Barcelona. Burnley boss Vincent Kompany has been hit with a two-match ban by the Football Association following his red card against Chelsea. Manchester City are keen on signing Jamal Musiala from Bayern Munich this summer but may have to sell a high-profile player to accommodate him. Virgil van Dijk gave a brutally honest reaction to Liverpool's stunning 3-0 defeat to Atlanta, admitting it feels bad for the Reds. The Netherlands international said, obviously it's not great. A very, very disappointing evening. Too many individual mistakes and we got punished for it. It feels bad. Goalkeeper Alexander Nubel is reportedly on the verge of extending his contract at Bayern Munich but will remain on loan with Stuttgart. Sheffield United have been hit with a points deduction by the EFL, but the punishment will not take effect until they are in the championship. He sucks. Matteo Ginduzzi savagely criticized amid ex-Arsenal midfielders disappointing displays since replacing Serge Milinkovic Savic at Lazio. PSG and Barcelona denied interviews with movie star due to a racist remark from Diego Simeone's former assistant on live TV. Burgos made a comment deemed racist and classist on live TV, if football doesn't work out for Yamal, he can end up working at a traffic light. Barcelona hero Rafinha joined by Real Madrid's Federico Valverde and Manchester City star Bernardo Silva in UEFA Champions League FedEx performance zone. Kingsley Coman targets Premier League move as 70 million euro Bayern star ready to part ways from Harry Kane and co amid disappointing season. The Premier League has announced that it will be introducing semi-automated offside technology during the 2024-25 campaign. PSG goalkeeper Sergio Rico cleared for return to football 11 months on from life-threatening horse accident that left him in a coma for 26 days. He was discharged from intensive care in July 2023 and then from hospital a month later. Jurgen Klopp said that Liverpool lost the plot and advised his players to go home and sleep badly after a 3-0 Europa League defeat to Atlanta. Klopp said, it was a really bad game, oh my god. We started really well but didn't continue. Before they scored we just lost the plot. We were everywhere and nowhere. Barcelona man Danny Alves has made his first social media posts in more than a year, but turned the comments off, following his rape conviction. The former Paris Saint-Germain and Barcelona star made one post with a sea view sunset and the second was of a piece of artwork. Both posts garnered more than 100,000 likes from his 36.5 million Instagram followers. Emmanuel Petit has advised Arsenal to break the bank on two attackers who could emulate Erling Haaland, but told the Gunners to avoid Alexander Isak. 
Petit believes that Tony and athletic club's Nico Williams should fit Mikel Arteta's system seamlessly and has urged the North London outfit to sign the two strikers. Hi guys, ensure you check out the new videos on our Super Football News channel. Thanks for watching, bye bye.